Hey guys, you very much welcome to this channel once again. My name is Kailanta and I'm so glad to have you here. If you have not subscribed, please make it a point and subscribe. Be part of this big family. Be a part of this amazingness all in one. And um, please tap the notification button that can be that is on the side. So that anytime I post anything, you can get it. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Sky back again with another banging video. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, my name is Diden Moira, radio presenter and an MC for events. Yeah, new YouTuber. If it is your first time on this channel, feel free to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, well... This is Ranti Asimwe. Welcome to Skyland Taiganda's YouTube channel. He has a few questions, so if you don't mind, let's take on the questions together. Hoping we have some fun. You know what he do? The first question is, what is the best lie someone has ever told you? What's the best lie someone has ever told you? My best lie when I was young, my mom told me that coins had more worth than the paper. So every time dad left home, I would always give my papers to mom, my paper money, and she gave me her coins. So yeah, that's the best lie. Well, I would say, first of all, let's be cautious of these two terms that guys like using. They like to use... It is not what you think. And they also like to use terms like, I can explain. Please allow me. <laughs> Ooh, there's so many. I just cannot accept that. I personally, it is what it is. If I found you doing something wrong, then I think I'm going to have to take it that way because your actions just speak louder than words. Best lie ever. I got your back. The guy was told this by a certain guy one time, I got your back. When it was time to get my back, the guy had already gone long time. So the best lie I will say, my friend had a cute mandem that she was in love with. A cute mandem. And we all know these are guys who are always, you know, being chased after. Like everyone, they are just the hot soup of the area. <laughs> of the zone so if you have a cute man you just have to hold him tight but if he's a loyal guy well you just don't have to hold him nobody has got your back you've got your own back maybe your family has your back but even some family members still don't have your back but yeah for me i think now that i think about it i think like that was one of the best lies ever <laughs> and i was so stupid i believed <laughs> so my friend was in love with this cute man and then one day, she called the man them cheating. And the chick, can you imagine? The man them was making out with a babe. Another babe who is not the girlfriend. The guy said, I can't explain. It's not what you think. You are... <laughs> so when the babe went to listen, later on when they decided to settle things like adults, the guy had to actually explain like he said he would explain. And the guy's explanation was, that's my sister. Okay, <laughs> that's your sister. You are making out with your sister. Is that like a Christian kiss? You know how the Bible says, great brethren with a kiss of love. So guys, that was like the best lie I've ever been told because let's be creative in our lives at least. So with that said, you cannot explain. The best lie someone's ever told me that you can don't make it. Someone just one day stood up and said, Sky, you won't be shit. I'd like... All right, all right, watch this space. Bruh, I got to make it. I have to hustle till I make it. How would you tell a friend of yours they have bad breath? Okay. My brother, it is bad. Whenever I'm shopping with that friend, I would probably check her to the main section or toiletry side. Give her a checkup on the nice colgates I use. Well, it would be so easy. Okay, for people who know me, they know that, yo, <laughs> I am like the most frank person. I will tell you the situation. I will explain it to you and tell you the conclusion. Just like the way I started with the what? Introduction. Um, if she doesn't get the message, I'll tell, I'll put her aside and ask and tell her, 
talk to her tell her about that bad breath probably she would take it serious yeah but i would just be like what's happening baby you don't smell sexy today then they'll be like huh and they'll be like yeah <laughs> because we need to like learn the art of being true friends to the people that are around us we need to learn the art of being sincere to the people that are around us because you never know it's very bad if at all you're with like a crew of friends and then you are prospering but then your friends are not prospering like that is going to just preach selfishness to people about you and that's not a vibe that you'd want to carry around with you my brother it is bad we need to grow together and strive together am i on the same topic yes so i'd be like yo what's happening baby you need to check your breath or i'll just like simply buy them chewing gum and be like you need to test this chewing gum it's really nice like i'm very sure you've not tested even though they have tested the chewing gum me i will say uh uh i've given you the chewing gum is it your money no <laughs> test the chewing gum please like that what would you do if you're president for three days what would you do what would you change what's that one thing that you would do as president if you're given a chance like for three days like your sky become president for three days party after party yeah. first let's make it clear i am never gonna be president i don't want to run a country my god like i've seen our president suffer with dealing with the covid 19 the lockdown we are such hard we are really hard-headed children I'm already hard-headed. I can't deal with myself. Why would I want to be president? Oh, well, I will... <laughs> Hearing my name, Her Excellency Jojo, oh my gosh. Ah! Yes, people. Yes, citizens of Uganda. <laughs> First of all, I would pay back bad blacks money, but that was already done. So I wouldn't be Her Excellency that much. You know what I'm saying? Anyways. Um, if I was given an opportunity to be the president of Uganda for three days, I would do something or air out my concerns about the education system in Uganda. I would do something about the education system in Uganda. So if I was president for three days, I would embezzle... I, I would... <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I wouldn't do that. But if I was told, okay, okay, please, we need you. We need you. You're taking one for the whole nation. Okay, I will stand up and say, okay, for three days. All right. The only thing I would do, I would be more concerned with our environment. Yeah, I'll be more concerned with our environment. That means I'd have to have laws that protect our few forests that we have. I'd have to make sure that we have enough laws that ensure our environment is clean and safe for the future generation. Car Excellency Jojo would gladly walk on the roads because I believe the transportation is a key factor to the development of our country. So I would want to change the roads and like, okay, guys, I'm wondering how would I change the roads? Would I, would I make them like four? I'm saying that I would make them six lanes because, okay, that is something that I have seen in China and I believe it is a very, 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 very key aspect. Yeah, we've been getting serious. Basically, I would take over the mantle from Wangari Mathai and move on and have laws protect our water resources. You know, people building on swamps. Why? Why? Huh? Why are we doing that? We need to protect our environment now. Because the education system is the root for everything. It's the root for economy. It's the root for health. It's generally the root for everything. People, our communities. Yeah, I'll do something for the education system in Uganda. The first thing I would look at would be uh, babies' homes. I would sign for a huge fund eh? that ha that goes to helping the needy um, foundations. This is me trying to be political here, guys. It I would introduce an underground transportation system because it would save so many people so much time. Like the subways underground people wouldn't be having to hustle so much with the taxi. Now, before things get extremely bad. So I think that is the only thing I would concentrate on for the next three days. And then of course, there'll be mad parties there. Like on the, on the third day before I sign out, throw a massive party. Just for us to see how state house feels, eh? Yeah. As president, I would also facilitate the businesses in the rural areas because I believe that is where the actual source is. You guys, do you know how much my talk? Do you know? 
Do you know how much matoke is in a foreign country? When you get to understand that, then you get to know where I'm deriving my point from. These foods that we have in our country are so expensive out there. And so you can imagine how much foreign exchange we are getting from other countries through exportation. Exportation is not some small thing. If at all Uganda's economy was really concentrated on exportation of its agricultural products, then you guys, I'm thinking, I was going to say, I am sure, but I am not sure. <laughs> I'm thinking that they'd be able to pay back all their debt. Every other entity that is taking care of people who can't afford to take care of themselves in a way or two and equip them with uh, funds. Remember, I'm president for a few days after a few days. Whatever happens, it's on you. Number two, party. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's for the third day. I'd register like everyone in the country. I'd ensure that registration is done entirely because then you are able to track everyone wherever they are. Yeah, basically, that's what I'd... I would change the education system. I'd make sure that we turn to um, a locally based education system which will teach us uh, cultures and norms of our own societies that we live in instead of using this other... this one that we used and we're still using currently. So, yes, I'd change the education system totally. On this very third day of my presidency, the first thing I'll do in the morning, I'll wake up charter a plane. I'll be partying for the next one month because when I was president I made sure that there was a good buy package for myself so I'll probably be out of that country for like one full month. Party after party. Yeah. Thank you for watching. My name is Asima Denise Ranti but you can get me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat via Ranti Grid. Thank you for tuning into Skylanta's YouTube channel and feel free to subscribe. You know what it do. So if you are a new person, tap that subscription. If you want to check out my content on my channel, you can go straight ahead into the description box. I will leave there the link and see ya. Alpha music. Let's go. Hey. And go for us.